Women, what part of nature don't you understand? Your best years is 18 to 30. After 30, you're half off. 35, now you're on Clint. Now you're about to be clearance sale. Then after that, you're in the old Navy. No, not even the old Navy, the Salvation Army after that 40 and up. Gotta think about it. You gave birth. That ruined your body. Some of you can bounce back, but your body's still not what it was when you was 18 to 30. Stop going to these women that are out of date who hit the wall. At 30 years old, that's the wall for you women that's slow to that. Yes, you run into the wall at 30. That's why you're half off after that. So apparently on our 30th birthdays, we lose 50% off our value as women. And we hit the wall where we become desperate for male attention and therefore need to settle for any man that's willing to have us. Especially if we've had a child. And this is the nonsense that this man wants us to believe. Let's check out some people's responses to this mess and I'll be right back. So Mr. Potato Head made a video saying that women over 30 is half off on clearance. Whatever he said. Honestly, when you got a face like him, nothing you say really matters. All right, I don't think a lot of these men who get online and say outrageous takes understand that there's a level of fine that you have to hit the threshold for for what you say actually means something and count. And you can't be fugly and get on here and say that women over 30 are clearance or half off when you ain't never been you ain't never been in it. <laughs> you ain't never been in at any point in your life, not from birth. You had a face only a mother could love at that time through childhood. You know, people had to say, oh, I bet he's sweet. I bet he's a sweet boy. Right? They, they weren't going to say he's a cute boy. He's a sweet boy. That's what they said, right? Then into your teenage years, you know, nobody cared about you. You was ugly then and you've been ugly as an adult. So nobody cares what you have to say. But I really don't be caring about any of the insults that y'all say over about women over 30. Because you know what I tell you all the time? I've been hit the wall. <laughs> I ain't on no clearance or no discount. I'm not even on the shelf no more. I took myself off the shelf. <laughs> that's that, that's how much I'm not in the game. So I don't really care, but I just find it highly offensive with me and it look like that say anything. Obviously, there's a lot wrong with that video, but can I just engage superficially for a moment and say statements like that, messages like that, videos like that, would hold a lot more weight if they came from men who anybody actually wanted. This is who is telling you that you're half off. And if you're about to say, well, looks aren't everything, okay, sure, fine. So he's ugly and spends a significant amount of time posting degrading and demeaning videos on TikTok about women. What a catch. And again, you guys know I do not call people ugly often. I don't like to add home, but at some point we have to be one thing and that is fucking for real. We have to be honest and we have to acknowledge that if you're going to get on the internet and tell people they're half off, baby, you'd better be full price. Enough. I'm not going to go for his looks because that's too easy. Instead, I'm going to talk about his mom. I love how one of the reasons he listed for women over 30 being half off is because they've given birth. And although the number of women over 30 who are giving birth is dwindling, shout out to the 4B movement, I still will never understand desiring a child but resenting the body that that child created. Especially when y'all look like that. Yeah, I lied about going for looks. Find a man who consistently condemns single mothers. I bet you he was raised by a single mom. If he's constantly insulting fat women, I can bet you his mom has got some meat on her bones. But what I really want for these men is for them to stop demeaning women online and start acknowledging the women that they really want to acknowledge, their moms. Stop arguing with a random woman today and argue with your mama. I just watched the video of you talking about women are half off at the age of 30. No, they're not. I don't think some of you have really dealt with a grown woman who's out of that immature stage, one where you can walk into her own crib and it's set up right because the ambiance in a grown woman's crib is amazing. For some reason, they always got a little furry dog running around the place, but we're not going to talk about that. But they're not going to play those immature games with you. They go make sure you good. You don't got to sit up there and try to be like, damn, you're not going to do nothing for me. No, she going to make sure you good as long as you make sure she good. Especially they take care of themselves, stay in the gym. They do what they need to do to stay right because that's what they want to do. And it looks amazing on them. That's another plus. And please, but please don't get me started on their style. There is nothing better than that grown sexy look that I'm going to be fully covered, but it's still sexy on me like that Savannah James style. Perfect. Perfect. Every time. 
I'll take that over the uh, the slutty look of the I'm 21. I'm about to go to a nightclub and y'all are tripping. But please keep sleeping on these grown women. And this goes like 28 up, all that. I'm about to hit 30. Y'all keep sleeping on them. You can really tell when somebody don't get no bitches. Not only the mug, but what you're talking about, sir. Somebody who get bitches ain't got time to be on here talking about what a woman is and what a woman. I got so much to say. I don't even know where to start. One, I think my mama has a point. When she be seeing things on the internet, she's like, yo, people just do that for the comments, for the for the clout, for the likes. Like, sometimes some things are too, too much. Like this creature. Um, th That's what I'm going to call. No, actually, TikTok, you know I got to play your game. So, um, hey, friend. Uh, hey friend, like, like the other woman has said, um, you aren't the cream of the crop. You aren't the best of the best. So I don't know what made you think to open up that mouth and put those words together. <laughs> and this is exactly why I have a problem with men like Kevin Samuels, because I'm pretty sure that young man right there was a, a Kevin Samuels lover. Um, cause it sounds just like him. Oh, if you're past 30, you're expired, you're useless, you're blah, blah, blah. At this point, I've said it many times and I'm not joking. Just start dating each other. Just start dating each other. If you need them to be more feminine, buy them a wig, buy them women perfume. Do what you can to make, to trick your brain into thinking that's a woman. Because at this point, I'm never going to be the one to turn to women to be like, oh, like I'm I'm going to start dating women because I'm tired of men. Like, I know that side of town ain't any greener. Um, that grass ain't any greener. So it is what it is. But um, honestly, at this point, this doesn't even make me mad anymore because I very well know like 70% of men, of men think like that guy does. Um, and that's fine. Uh... Because at this point, the way y'all be living, by the time you're like 25, you're off the shelf. You took yourself off the shelf. Because most times, you're not the cleanest. Um, You got a few things going on. You don't know how to take care of yourself. To be honest, like, have y'all spoken to women recently? Like, we're tired. We're tired to the point where we're like... I think it's funny because there's that conversation where it's like, women are becoming men. No, we're just tired. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with any man at this point. Like, but unfortunately, my hormones and whatnot be like, oh my God, I want companionship. It's gotten to the point where I might just find myself a nice young man and um, be like, hey, you need help with something? <laughs> you Is that a sugar mama? You need something paid? Keep me happy and I'll keep you happy. Because, like, I don't want no extra shit. I don't want... I don't want to deal with being cheated on or, like... Because every guy nowadays, it's like, oh, like, I need it. I need to talk to multiple women. I'm a man. Blah, blah, blah. Despicable. <sighs> but... I want to start this video by saying, when you come on TikTok, you can say whatever the f*** you want to say. But... They come with consequences. You can't look like God had a time restraint when he was making you and then say shit like that. Because here's how it works on TikTok. If you're good looking and you speak facts, everybody's okay. If you're not good looking and you speak facts, they're going to talk about how you don't look good, but they're still going to agree with your point. Here's the flip side. If you're good looking and you speak bullshit, you might get a few passes. They're still going to talk about how you speak bullshit, but at the end of the day, you'll be okay. If you're not good looking and you speak bullshit, now, now you're being greedy. You're trying to double down. You can only pick one. You can't look like that and speak bullshit because now you're being greedy. <laughs> you're being greedy. You just wanted attention with this post, so I thought I would draw attention to the line on your forehead where your brain shrunk. So there's a thing that I do before I make any statement 
on the internet. And that is to ask myself, am I attractive enough to have this opinion publicly? And if the answer is no, which it often is, I shut up. If the answer is yes, I go with it. But when you have risky opinions, certain jokes you want to make, if, if you don't have the skill, the articulation, or the attractiveness to be able to make said joke or said statement, I feel like you should just shut up. That's my own personal opinion. You don't got to do nothing. But I'm just saying, it don't be looking, it, it don't be going well for y'all. I wish y'all would just, you know, live your life. Y'all want to do whatever y'all want to do. Go ahead. I want y'all to make better decisions. I want better things for y'all in y'all life, even when y'all don't. And ladies, this is exactly why you have to have discernment when you're listening to men. It's not that we can't trust them. You have to have discernment on this app because people really just be on here sharing and they really don't know what they're sharing. They just have something to say. And in this instance, I think the thing that annoys me the most about his little comment is the fact that you're saying between 18 and 30, sir, you definitely over 30. So why is it that for him, he would assume that a woman will lose value the older that she gets when we all know that things always get better with time? My life experience and my growth is going to put me in a place to where I'm going to always win. When you're between 18 and 30, you're still going through the hardships of life and learning and discovering yourself. Your 30s are really your golden years. You really have um, a sense of self. You really know uh, who you are as a person. You grow as a woman. You know what you like, you know what you don't like. You know what you're willing to tolerate. And so that right there is gold. Being 18 and being in your 20s, you are impressionable. You don't know who you are. You don't know what you like. You're learning about what life is. You think you have it figured out, but you don't. And so as a man, not just a person who happens to be a male, but as a man, Having a woman or knowing a woman who knows who she is and that is assertive and that um, can speak up for herself and do the things that maybe you weren't able to younger, he will be able to appreciate that. Because no man that is actually looking for a legitimate partner wants somebody who is beyond impressionable. Not to say that women shouldn't be teachable. We all should be teachable because that's opportunities for growth. However, for a man to look like that and to get on Bill Gates' internet and to say that you're half off, almost as if you're just a product you can pick up from the grocery store. Women have value, and it's not something that you can put a price on. For our Heavenly Father to say that when a man finds a wife, he obtains favor for the Lord, that tells me everything that we all need to know. Be weary of men who compare women to objects or to things that you can buy or things that can be measured because we all know that you can't. And I'm also pretty positive that that man is not married and he out here single and lonely and sad and miserable. And you out here trying to project that onto single women and thinking that they gonna eat that up and we not. It's always good to have a man who is wise that can share and that can give you feedback from a place of love. But when you receive feedback from men like this, it makes you reluctant to listen because you really don't have anything to share. And it's not that women don't listen. It's just that the people that usually are talking don't have anything to say. So don't be discouraged when you see stuff like this. Don't even get annoyed. Charge to the game and just know people are people. But Red Pill Podcasters or whoever y'all call yourself out here these days, we really need y'all to relax and just focus on yourself. Focus on healing. Focus on loving the Lord. And everything will come into pass for you whenever it's supposed to be. But projecting your insecurities or whatever you feel like people are supposed to be on the internet, it's not going to help you find no baby. And it's not going to help you abstain a good woman. Instead of trying to teach women what to do, what to say, how to say it, how to look, just go find what you're looking for instead of trying to convert people to be who you want them to be. Get it together. I just watched the video of you talking about women are half off at the age of 30. No, they're not. Why would I do all this work to become a grown man and then downgrade to an immature person? We get better with age. We go from being ignorant children to becoming grown folks. Why would women be any different? Maybe you want a younger woman so that you can control her. Well, if that's the case, you're not a grown man. You're a man child. I wouldn't trust you. You're not operating out of a place of wisdom.
I am still leveling up. I'm still becoming a wiser and more complete person. The benefit of locking in to a grown person is that you know what they bring to the table. They've done the work to polish their character. There's only been one time in my life when I was told by a woman that I was too young. I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. More importantly, let's talk about this swimming cap you got on in this video. Why do you got a swimming cap on? I don't see you nowhere near no water. I see you in the bathroom. The water ain't on. Take the swimming cap off. I think the red pill movement has brainwashed some of these men into thinking they're something they're not and that they have the authority to speak on things that they really don't. Because how can you get on the internet and try to talk this way about women? I would guess that he doesn't have a woman and he doesn't get much female attention because there's no way that a man who is busy focusing on his life would have the time to come on TikTok to tell women that they have no value. Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.